114 migrants from Côte d'Ivoire, Guinea and Liberia returned home sa safely from Algeria via a voluntary return flight organized by the International Organization for Migration thanks to the permission and support from the government of Algeria. This is the second voluntary return operation to be facilitated by IOM amid COVID-19 within less than two months following the voluntary return of 84 migrants to Mali on the 14th of July. The flight departed from Algiers towards Conakry with a stopover in Monrovia and its final destination, Abidjan. The group, including 102 men, six women, four boys and two girls, had been stranded in Algeria. As their socio-economic situation became challenging due to COVID-19, they had approached the IOM and their respective embassies to request an assistance to return home and reunify with their families. Joining us live is uh, Innocent Duru, a journalist. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. Tell us quickly about uh, this return operation. Yeah, the return operation is one of the activities of uh, International Mi Organization of Migration, IOM, to bring back uh, migrants who are stranded abroad back to their respective countries. One run, 14 of them were brought back from the Ivorian. That's not the first time they will be doing that this year. Early last month, they brought back about 118 Ghanaians from Libya. And you can imagine what would have happened to those Ghanaians if they did not bring them back from that very volatile environment. Nigeria is also not excluded. In July, late in July, 109 Nigerians were brought back from Mali. So that has been a very good act action from uh, IOM, that if they had not been doing this, many of those migrants would have died there because nobody would have deemed it fit to bring them back. Most of them are stranded without money, without food. So it's a very laudable um, project by IOM. And it's not that when they bring them back, they just abandon them. When they come back like that, they give them some training and some level of empowerment. So yeah. this is what Afghan governments are not doing for their citizens, and we really appreciate IOM for doing this for the people of Africa. Qu quickly share with us, you know, how the pandemic has also affected uh, migrants moving back to their countries. Um, how, how, you know, much more has, um, or well, difficult has it become? It has been a very tough time for migrants because the pandemic was something that caused everybody on our ways. So most people that traveled for various reasons plan to return back after a short time. But before you knew it, the pandemic broke out and there was border closure internationally. Yeah. So most of them could not return. Most of them that had exhausted the money they had on them, some of them who were already on their way became stranded on the road. You will have reports of some migrants who were trafficked and were abandoned by traffickers in the deserts. And many of them died. So it has been a very terrible and a horrible experience for migrants this period. And you could also see that many of them who, who are in countries like uh, India suffered a great deal because they were denied basic foods when the country, India was sharing palliatives for other uh, their nationals. They excluded non-nationals, and that exposed them to a lot of hardship and difficulty. Besides that, some Nigerians who died in India were cremated and that was a very big problem because their families never got to see them. So if, I, if Nigerian government had made efforts like IOM is doing to repatriate the citizens when that crisis came up, many of them would have come back to Nigeria and not have died in that kind of miserable situation they found themselves. Yeah. Uh, do you also think uh, enough awareness is being you know, carried out to discourage irregular migration? No, not at all. If you take away non-governmental organizations, you will discover that government is not doing, is doing little or nothing about this, uh, about uh, uh, giving enlightenment on uh, irregular migration. One thing is clear that we have many government agencies, national orientation agency, we have the National Human Rights Commission, we have the Humanitarian Commission, all these people, they are completely non-existent when it comes to providing information on irregular migration. What we have that is active a little bit is NAPTIC. And NAPTIC is more on trafficking issue. Irregular migration is not only about trafficking. Some people have on their own deliberately migrated irregularly. 
So you cannot classify that as trafficking. But the problem we have is that government agencies are very complacent. They only choose to do what is convenient for them. It is only NGOs that have been at the forefront of campaigning against irregular migration. And they are not getting enough support. When you talk about irregular migration, government agencies, will, some government officials will tell you who, who send them, who, who asked them to go there. But you see that this, we are also benefiting from migration because of the remittances we get. You can imagine what Nigeria makes from remittances from abroad every year. Yeah. So it is absolutely not right for us to begin to, to push down, to push down migration challenges. So the issue here is that we need to step up campaign on irregular migration because it's doing a lot of harm to our people. Thousands of people have died migrating irregularly. Thousands of them have become contracted de uh, deadly diseases, HIV, CSTDs. Many of them have come back depressed, become serious uh, problems to the society. All right. Come back from abroad, it's more criminal tendencies. And when they even come back like that, governments just push them out to the society. There's a lot of issue around each, uh, this matter. Yeah.